my channel my name is Jamie and this is let's talk about it so today I am here with another haul for my eBay shop and it's all teddy bears today so I do have a lot of teddy bears in my store to put up and before I list them I decided to show you guys so the first guy that I'm going to put in my store is Walter Mellon guys is he not the cutest I got him from an antique uh, seller and um, I got a good price on him to resell. I myself love teddy bears but I only like the ones that I can like snuggle near. Do you know what I mean? And this isn't one that I can snuggle with but he is a nice guy. His name is Walter Mellon. He's made from Hi Heidi. Heidi Steiner from Steiner Bears. I think this bear came out in the 80s. And now I tried to get a hold of the artist because I have his tags right here. So I tried to look him up and to see how much um, I could sell him for and I couldn't find him. So what I did was I went on Instagram, put in her name and I found her interesting story so i go click on her and she says i make bears and in, in, in buddies or bears and friendships i don't know what her slogan is it's something like that but she's not very old she looks like she's middle-aged and um she's a blight doll collector um i was like oh my god me and this woman will have a lot in common you know what i mean and i can learn about the bear in my store so, I wrote her. Crickets. Literally crickets, guys. She didn't even write back to me. I'm like, she, I don't even think she's seen it. She's literally got an Instagram with blights and bears. She's an amazing seamstress, it seems. She makes some really cool things. I kind of want to buy some of her stuff for my pitches. But she, like, never wrote me back. I'm, like, dying to know about this bear. I wrote on one of her pitches. I was like, oh, I love your Blight doll. I have Blight's, too. Can you tell me about Walter Melon? Because, um, I want to know when he was made. See, like, he's got this little, like, balloon that he holds. And it's like, it's like a bamboo and it's painted. And um, right here it says Walter Mellon. I think this is mohair for some reason. Because when I looked up her bears, a lot of them said mohair. And they look just like this bear. Like the same snout or whatever you call this thing, the nose. But it's such a well-made bear. Really love it. So that's Walter Mellon, and that's from Heidi Steiner, Steiner Bears. And look her up on Instagram. She's pretty talented with her pitches and the things that she makes with her blights. And she makes, like, felt strawberries and stuff. Really cool stuff. Next in my store is a fur skin. <laughs> that name, like, will never, ever get old to me. I don't know why, but I can't deal with saying it. But anywho... These are fur skins, and I actually have one in my collection, my personal collection, because he's snuggly and I can, like, lay on him. I only like bears that I can use as a slash pillow. Do you know what I mean? Like, a cuddly. And I have one, and I only need one. I don't need two. And this is the other one. They do have outfits. It was like a boy and a girl, husband, wife, brother, sister. I have no idea. And I don't know which one is which, because when you take the clothes off, it's the same. And, yeah, so I'm going to put one in my store. So cute. Aren't they really so cute? They're made by the same creator as the Cabbage Patch Kid, uh, Xavier Roberts. He came out with this line in 1984, 83, 84. And it does have a tag that says Xavier Roberts. It's got his signature on the paw. It's so cute, and if you collect Cabbage Patch Kids, I don't know why you wouldn't want, a, like, a fuzzy um, stuffed animal that's Cabbage Patch Kid related, right? So, yeah, he's going to go in my store and, you know, make some Cabbage Patch Kid collector very, very happy and make me money. The next guy. I got him at a yard sale, guys. This guy is so cute. Um, 
He's definitely like ready to go. Like gets up for breakfast and has his laundry done. And look, he comes with a pocket watch. Right here. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? He's got his own pocket watch. He's got his shit together. He's never late. So I really love this bear. I think the collector will love him. He's got his boots. His boots are all screwed up, but they're here and they're working. And I mean, who wouldn't want this little guy? He's definitely vintage. This guy is a gund and he is called Playtime's Past or Playthings Past or something like that. And he's supposed to look like he's like old in times. But I mean, look at his little like, like sweater vest. Oh, it's too cute. So I'm excited. I think that somebody will love this guy. How could you not? Next is Dandy. Now, I own a dandy. I own a huge dandy, a big one. My boyfriend bought it for me. It was the first thing he's ever bought me, and I love it. I sleep on it. I use it as a big, like, pillow. And this is just the cutest. This girl has a little dress. Is she not the cutest you've ever seen? She's in perfect condition. Uh, the year, I can't tell you what year she is because... It seriously doesn't say what year this little girl is. I don't know why. Why would it not tell us the year on the tush tag? But it didn't. But it's made in mass. I didn't know that. So, yeah, this is so cute. It's got the little uh, tail hole on the jean skirt. And I just couldn't pass this one up for my store. She is too cute, and I think the collector will really love this teddy bear. So the next one I have for my store is a Harold's, and has the tags. And this guy is so cute. Look at his face. Isn't he the cutest? He has like the cutest little face. I think this guy's got the cutest little face I've ever seen, ever. He is, can't tell you what the date is. None of these people believe in putting dates in their beers. It looks like he's from England on the tag. London, England. So that's cute. His, he doesn't, he just sits. So these don't move or anything. But he's wicked cute. Who would not want this guy with his little face? I think it's his eyes I like. Next is another little dandy. It's a little Valentine's Day one. Yeah, 2009, and really not that old, but so cute. And all I gotta do is give him a good washing, and then I'm gonna put him in my store. And look at the little sweater. The sweater alone is to die for. Look at this little sweater, and it comes off. You could put it on a whole nother animal if you wanted. So he'll be a score for my store. Okay, the last three I found at the same house and I got a good deal on them. So they're perfect for my store because they have the box. But the box is kind of a little a mess. But you see in there, um, this one is a cheerleader. So this one is from a company called the Bialaski Bio, Bio Treasury. 1996. And she has all of her arms and her legs move, and she comes with a little flag. And she's cheering on her, um, she's a little like, is this a schoolgirl or a cheerleader? I can't tell if she's a cheerleader or a fan, or just a fan, you know what I mean? And they all came with their papers, so I'm totally pumped about this but it does it so it all says the name oh this is Susie all right her name this one is Susie right here um the head does not move but look at the eyes she's in perfect condition because she was in her box looks like she was just like a little like dusty but they're so cute these bears I love them and she's got such like spirit guys look she's gonna be a good score and it says uh Fully jointed, collectible, um, limited edition, it says. Wow, limited edition. And then I got this guy. 
This guy is hard for me to walk away from because I love bed. I don't like to get up ever. I love, love bed. I like being in bed, snuggling in bed. And this guy is so cute for anybody who likes to go to bed. And this is like what um, the typical um, teddy bear was for, was to snuggle with in bed. So this guy is like a classic teddy bear to me. He's so cute. And he's got his little hat. Um, what's his name? This one says Charlie. So cute. So this guy's a score from my store. And uh, the last one is this guy right here, which was what caught my eye for the yard sale. Um, so cool. He's got the best box, and he says limited edition as well. But he says it on like here. You know, comes in a nice box. And they're all like in such good condition. <gasps> He's kind of cuddly, guys. He's got a little coat. And the back is black and it's a vest. And you could take it off if you want. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's in good condition. And this guy's name is... Oh, this is the Bioski Bear. Bialoski bear. This is him. This is the actual bear. So, this guy's a real score for my store. I bet. But, oh, they're so cute. And I really do like them. They're very well made. Look at how good condition these bears are in. You can tell it's been in this box. There's no dust on it and nothing. That's a score in my store. Oh my god, did that rhyme? So guys, that is what I got for my haul this week for my eBay store. And it's a collection of bears that I'm going to put up. So that's pretty cool. I love having toys in my store to sell. It makes it more fun for people like me that love toys. <laughs> hey! So if you liked any of these bears and you want one for yourself, I will leave the link down to my store down below and write me and tell me you're from YouTube and I will give you a discount. So if you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.